want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. You want to support me, go to TikTok, follow me at Trenches News 3837. Best audio book out on Spotify, man. Make sure y'all go check out Video Nocturno. Yo! It's your boy Trenches News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to all my mods. If you ain't following them, you can follow their yes at the end of this video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless. Mother Nature could come, destroy everything, and now you're homeless. So make sure you get back. With that being said, let's say the kids, the women, the elderly, the neutrons, and the civilians. Happy Thursday to everybody. Hope everybody ate safe and blessed. I got one story and one story only. Before we get into the little Dirk, hired the dream team to fight his murder for hire case. New documents had came out on the government website. And we're going to get into it. Before we get into it, if you want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. Make sure y'all smash that like button. I will be going live tonight. So make sure y'all there. All right. We're talking about Lud Dirk and his murder for hire case and a five um, people that's on the case with him so far. It's more. If they don't cooperate, it's going to be way more. But um, Lud Dirk. As the looks of it, he went to go and get some good lawyers. He went to go and get some of the best lawyers, man. He, um, The lawyers are from two different states, and they had to induct. They had to induct to the, um, I guess you got to put in, put in the application that you haven't been barred before or anything of that nature. So his lawyers are, one of his lawyers are from Chicago. And his other lawyer, it looked like she's from Cali, but Indiana too. Like she practices, these lawyers, they practice in different states and they professions in this, in the murder for hire game. So um, what Lil Dirk is facing though, it's going to be an uphill battle, man. He going to need more than them. He going to need to have to throw Sam Adams, the lady who got him off King Von case. He going to have about six lawyers when it's done. Now to, for, to go for his rappies, man, it ain't looking too good, man, you know. He, they ain't already used his card, so what it looked like he using his money, you know, to get them some lawyers. But if he was righteous and, you know, if they was in it together, he'd get them some lawyers, man. That'd take the chances off. If they got lawyers, they might not flip on them. But Lil Dirk does have lawyers. He went to go and hire the Dream Team, Brayman from Chicago, and Christina O'Connor. Look like she got um, a scholar across the board. She a master um, attorney. Both of these guys, all these two are master attorneys, you know, so I guess they that's like they master at all trades. Um, Lil Dirk facing um, basically murder for hire charges. They saying that he texts in a document. They saying that Lil Dirk, not, not Coca Spirit, the number one no more. They saying that Lil Dirk texts um, Didi and told them don't book none in his name. He rode on a plane with OTF Vining. Um, to California, you know, as if they was getting everything set up. And Vani was the one who passed out the guns, got the cars and the ski masses and paid um, some individuals. And then last but not least, you got Jam. And if Jam is the one who telling, like I said, they, you know, I got to confirm. But if he is the one, he might as well sign, seal, deliver, man. He, he signed, seal, deliver because Jam was there. So, he signed, sealed, delivered, man. And, um, yeah. But we'll see how it go. You know, I know it's a lot of fans out there. You know, y'all praying for him and hoping he get off. Well, he got two of the best lawyers so far. He got two of the best lawyers. If y'all want to see the paperwork, y'all can look it up um, on the BOP site or PACER. But, yeah, um, Lil Dirk got his lawyers. He's um, touched down in California um, today. He touched down in California. So now he in California. He got his lawyers. He retained his lawyers. One from Chicago. The other one from California slash Indiana. Look like she got offices in Indiana too. And um, yeah, he, he ready to tie up his shoes and fight. I don't think it's going to be a real fight though. I think eventually Lil Durk could be copping out to at least the 30. You know what I'm saying? At least 30 or 20, whatever they give him. I don't think he going to take it to trial even with these lawyers with the evidence that they got because they don't have to prove that only thing they got to prove that Lil Durk had knowledge 
of the situation. That's what people fail to realize. And like Rico's and shit, like they ain't got to prove that you killed. Like they don't have to prove that Doug got killed by O Block. They ain't have to prove that. Only thing they had to prove that they was the part of the O Block organization. That's a Rico. To further O Block name, they doing committing these crimes. You know, so that's what it is with Lil Dirk though, man. He went to go and get the dream team. And he when he got him fast, bro. He his dog think his daddy picked out them lawyers like his daddy. You know he done been down for his life, so he probably going with you know old tricks. People who know the type of murder for hire situation that he in, and you know you want to get somebody who got a lot of knowledge on it. And what's their record of beating or getting somebody the lowest of the lowest cop out that they can? But like I said, man, with the evidence that's against them. What they saying that Lil Dirk rode on that plane and went to California as if he wanted to, you know, see the job done and pop a bottle. And OTF Jam, who's a member, who was around, who was there at the crime scene. And then you got number four. Number four didn't kill nobody. But if he don't tell, he going to be charged as if he killed somebody. So number four. Is going to flip because he just called them and told them. So he's going to definitely tell them who did it. And he going to tell them, um, like, did he get paid or was it a payment? He going to tell them all that, you know. And it ain't looking too good for Dirk after all that, man. Then Didi, you know, he probably get a lawyer. I ain't going to lie. You know, it's some people that's around some people that's probably get him a lawyer. But all of them ain't getting no lawyer, man. These, these are million-dollar lawyers that look Dirk just grabbed. These ain't no... 100,000 lawyers or no $200,000 lawyers. These the lawyers that when your life on the line, like you big like Lil Dirt, and you trying to come home with an open window, because he ain't walking out that courtroom. I could just say that. He ain't walking out that courtroom, man. They got too much. And then you got to think about the people who got Lil Dirt. Like, don't think about, you know, what's his charge and shit. Think about the people that grab him. These people grab Lil Dirt after two years. These people done spent the money. Jam had been arrested for parole violation for traveling out of town. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the money gone that the dudes didn't got for the robbery, like, they ain't got shit. So what they got to, what they got to lose, you know, besides trying to get back some time for themselves to get back out and, and at least live life? Because who want to stay in jail? Be real. Hey, but this trench news, man. My man is my nine. Get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this Lil Dirk situation. Um, yeah, if you want to see it, go on PESA or um, the BOP site, the government site, or just type in banks. It might pop up on Google. But yeah, Lil Dirk went to go and get the dream team, man. He went to go and get the dream team. I ain't talking about OJ now. He went to go and get the closest thing to it. So we're going to see how it work out, like I said, man. But it ain't looking too good, man. Everybody I talk to who been in the feds. Who got grabbed by the feds, who's still in the feds halfway house. Say, Lil Dirk might as well grab some Diddy oil or some um, baby. Uh